Now, Africa's promise doesn't come without challenges, and I think the challenge uh, to many of you are well known, but should uh, bear repeating. Corruption is something uh, I think the, Af the African continent uh, is, is, is known for. Uh, weak skills, uh, bureaucracy, weak infrastructure still, and still weak institutions. Now, uh, alongside that, uh, and sometimes, uh, and I am uh, by any measure uh, a true African, I grew up in uh, five different African uh, countries outside of my uh, native Ethiopia. I've lived in Rwanda, grew up, that is, in Rwanda, Togo, Malawi, and Kenya. So I feel I am a Pan-African, and it hurts sometimes to, to mention these pesky perceptions, but they need to be mentioned uh, because of what I'll tell you uh, as, I, as I progress in terms of how we overcome those perceptions. But I think um, if, we're, you know, if we were to poll uh, people about what they think about doing business in Africa, uh, they would say, oh, people are lazy, they're slow, things are slow to get started, it's chaotic, risky, corrupt. These are the things every day while we're building our businesses, we're tackling. And we have to face these perceptions. And as you heard, we, uh, in my new company, uh, attracted uh, very serious uh, global investors. And believe me, all of these uh, had to be tackled one by one. But every challenge, as you know, uh, if, since you are here, uh, is an opportunity. And so turning oppor challenge into opportunity uh, is, I think, where uh, our sights should be set. And uh, to turn challenge into opportunity in Africa I think uh, it can't be said enough, and I, and I believe the previous speaker also uh, highlighted it, but investing in people, building those skills, building the organizational corporate cultures that we need, the, the, um, uh, harnessing the, the innovation and the, the uh, entrepreneurial spirit that is just below the surface and in many cases bubbling over uh, the surface uh, in this continent and especially among the youth of Africa. Uh, thinking beyond a single business approach to an ecosystem uh, approach. Because often it's not the fact that the business itself is unviable uh, or doesn't have a potentially good return. It's the issue that lies in the lack of allied uh, services and ecosystem structures uh, that often uh, spell the, 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 the ills of the businesses that we're, we're trying to get into. So, uh, investing in an ecosystem approach rather than a narrow uh, approach is something I, I think um, is a key uh, way to turn this challenge into opportunity. Uh, investing in the long term, uh, I was thrilled when uh, Guy mentioned that as well. I think uh, we're in for the long haul uh, and, um, and the payoff is tremendous uh, with that optic. And finally, uh, daring to dream and dream big and bold. Uh, Africa is uh, not only an exciting place to invest, but it's a place where big uh, things uh, are happening uh, and big things can happen. And uh, so uh, I think, um, you know, for me, this is, this is Africa's time uh, and uh, there's no reason to, to uh, think small.